Hey, what's going on, guys? Just want to show off a little bit differently. Want to show off a little bit of my watch collection. Uh, before I do that, let's go into what I was carrying today. I was carrying this beauty. This is the Hinderer three-inch Spanto grind. Uh, this one is in what is this in? Uh, sorry, S thirty-five VN. Great steel. And this is the one I kind of keep playing. I kind of keep the plain steel standoffs, nuts, and uh, I think this is titanium, but everything's pretty standard. The only thing I did differently was I put this beautiful uh, jade green scale on it. I just think that looks awesome. So that was with me today. Came in very handy today. Still cleaning up around the house, so huge, huge, huge little nice to have. <laughs> I just love that Sponto grind. And obviously I have my keys, wallet, all that fun stuff. I'll put that off to the side up here. But on the watch today was my Hamilton. This guy is the, what is this, the mechanical khaki field? Whatever variation, however you say that. Manual wind and B blast case. Uh, I may be selling this watch. So if you're interested, just let me know. Uh, I put this on a Collareb, uh, so this is like a Swamp swamp Brown, I think it's called, so it's slightly green. I um, just really love that vintage look of the stitching on it, and it just gives it a really nice weather, weathered look to it. I uh, put the Hamilton buckle, if you can see that, so it matches, so yeah, I think it might be time to move on. I've been wearing my Flieger a lot, it's kind of like my field watch, kind of like my uh, you know, minimalistic watch. If you're interested, let me know, guys. I'll give you a great deal on it. Um, but let's get into the main point of this uh, video. The main point of the video is these Seikos right here. So this is my Seiko collection. I'm a huge fan of Seiko. I've had a Seiko probably within my whole professional career of uh, watch buying. Uh, started off with a Seiko Kotura. Chronograph, uh, Quartz Movement. I wish I still had that watch, but I ended up selling it to get more of these guys or more of these guys. So, really, really missed that watch. Might get it again. If you guys are selling a Seiko Futura, the one with like a, um, had like a, uh, almost like a blue sapphire here on the crown, three sub dials. So, if you guys know it or have it, let me know or know what model I'm talking about. Please let me know in the comments below. Um, and I did have an SKX 007 years ago, but I ended up selling it again to help fund my other addictions in life but so now here I am with these Seikos and I gotta say I'm very very pleased with them so without further ado let's look at the first one I have over here so this is the Seiko SKX 009 this is the one with the Pepsi dial and I should have cleaned these before I did the video but love this watch I have this on a uh, kind of looks purple in the video but in different lights it actually does kind of look a little purple it's more of a navy blue but I think it just looks really really well goes really well with this color scheme of this watch. Um, the Seiko SKX, in my opinion, is probably one of the best divers you can get for the money. I mean, it's a true ISO certified diver. Beautiful design. I love the aesthetics of this. I mean, just look at that dial. Day-to-day -day function, mechanical movement, all for about $200. And just that case is really nice. Fits the wrist really nicely. It's nice polishing on the sides. If that ever comes into focus. It's really, it just looks really nice on the wrist and it fits a lot of different wrist sizes. So I have a small wrist, so for me, this is perfect. It's such a, such a sweet, sweet fluid movement on the bezel. I mean, it feels a little tinny if that makes sense, but and mine doesn't quite line up perfectly, but a little play, you can kind of tweak it so it ends up perfectly, but I use this wash a lot. I use the bezel a lot. Time, you know, like all normal things in life, you know, uh, 10 minutes to get the table at the bar or whatever, or you know, 30 minutes to get your laundry. It's just super, super useful for me. And this is a great everyday watch. It's just being super high legible with that dial. I mean, and uh, just that looms is just ridiculously good. Has a lot, a lot of depth to it too, which I love. Great watch, I highly recommend it. It's only obviously the only problem with it these days is that it doesn't include a hacking function. So if 
you screw this all the way out, you see the second hand going. And that's still gone. It's a bummer. But you can overlook it, honestly. It's uh before she getting in this watch, it's pretty awesome, and I just love uh, another thing that's really annoying is it's really hard to screw back in. Look at me, I'm like struggling to get it back. There it goes. Once you get it, it's good, but just it being at the uh, four o'clock position throws it off a little bit, but I just love the look of this watch. I love the two-tone Pepsi. I used to have the full black version before. That's because just from the forums, everyone was mentioned SKX, 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 and I originally went with the 007 version, but I just love this two-tone Pepsi dial or bezel option, so would definitely recommend this watch. A lot of that fun combination colors you can do with it. I've switched back and forth. I went from Bond NATO, which you may have seen in other videos, to now this it's a plain navy, and I think it goes really well with this watch. It brings out the blue and the dial. So that's that. My second, so since I got this, I was a huge fan of the SKX, obviously. I wanted to get another diver, and everyone has been talking about this watch. This was the monster. This is the black monster, actually, so. A lot of versions of this watch. I went with the blacks. I thought it'd probably be the less um, kind of out, too out there watch because I think black you can go with a lot of different options. Lots of different, you know, t-shirts. Even wear this with a suit. Even I would wear it with a suit. I don't care. But um, just look at the loom on that too. It's just, it's a gray day today, but you can see how good that is. And I just love this watch because for when I got this, this was a little, it was a little under like 300, maybe like 275 I got it for, which I was actually at the time, these were going for like 200, so I was a little upset. I had to spend a little more, but they were harder to get, harder to get, harder to get. But I just love this watch. I switch between putting this on NATO and straps. Right now I'm going with the bracelet because, eh, why not? <laughs> just mix it up a little bit. I have those other Seikos I'll show you in a little bit, but. So similar to the SKX, it's got the crown before clock position, but unlike the SKX, now let's just unscrew this. this one. Actually, is a little bit easier to unscrew. This one, as you can see, the seconds go by, does hack. So very, very cool hacking. Also, look at that manual wind too. So. And it even winds a little bit as you screw it right back in. And there, it's locked in. One thing I do love about this, even it's very, very busy dial, and the original dial had even more going on with it, but I just love these kind of teeth on it. It just gives it overall that monster look, which is sick. And, um, but what I love about this is this bezel is so smooth. I mean, it's hard to show, but just listen to it if you can. It has like this just smooth, almost like, I want to say it's like a jelly-like feeling. It's so hard to explain, but if you ever had a chance to play with the monster, please do, and I think you'll fall in love immediately. I think, it's a lot. I was actually thinking about getting the orange monster too, but I decided to do with this one because I'm more a black fan, and I think the black monster just looks awesome, especially with this bracelet. Just, it's weird. It's, I guess, not for everyone, but for me, I actually think this is a really, really, really well done watch. It's finished so nicely and I was very impressed with it. It was when I first got it, I knew it was, you know, it had the brush, certain things were polished, but when you see in person, it's finished so well. You expect double, triple the price of what you paid for this type of quality. Uh, bracelet's okay, nothing to write home about. I do like that this is brushed here and that they polished the this little part here. But I just love this aesthetic. Not for everyone, obviously, but I just love this watch. So see this brushing right around the bezel. It just pops. And this is, this, I bought this actually to be my beater watch, but when I got it, I'm like, wow, this looks so much nicer. And even my wife, when she got it, she's like, wait, how much did you spend on this? She really couldn't believe I got it at a bargain. And that's what's really great about all these Seikos. You can, they, you get a lot for what you pay for. 
a really nice way to stretch your buck. And if you're really into watches, diver watches, if you're in, if you're really into diving, which I'm not, um, you can actually use these for diving, which is insane. I mean, they have the depth rating of 200 meters. Um, the, obviously, the timing bezel, you can time your dive, and just that loom, I mean, even right now, the loom is popping right now, which I just love. It has almost this green look about it right now, which is sick. Super, super bright at night. Um, they don't last like a ridiculously long time, honestly. Like my, actually my Flieger actually lasts longer, the Super Luma Nova. Um, but it's still ridiculously bright. I mean, if I charge it, you'll see it'll just, I mean, it's even charged right now, which is awesome. Love that. So yeah, that's the monster. And lastly, this is what I got a couple months ago. You may have seen this in a few of my past videos. But this is the Seiko Sarb. I think this is the 013. I apologize if that's not the right model number. But this is the Alpinist. Wish I can get dial a little better. Oh, that's probably the best it's gonna look. So this set me over the edge. As soon as I saw this, I'm like, okay. Seiko has really stepped up their game. This is, when I first got this, I I was like, all right, I'll never need a Rolex because just this finishing, or a Grand Seiko, I should say, really. Um, just the finishing on this, it was just so beautiful. And when I first got it, I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. I didn't really measure it too well. I didn't, or look at the specs online. So I couldn't really visualize it, but when I saw it in person, how small it was and just how beautifully polished and brushed this was, it's, and it's my, mine's a little scratched up, mine's a little banged up because I wear this one. I wore this one a lot when I first got it. Look at that polishing, I mean, it's like a friggin' mirror. Hey guys, you can see me. Uh, solid case back, but this as well is 200, 20 bar, so 200 meters again. 23 jewel die shock. So, and just look at that dial. I really hope that comes out. So, matches well. <laughs> it's the green, the gold markers, and just this polishing really gave this such a classy, like elegant look. But while still being a tool watch with the and a rotating bezel for your compass to figure out where north is. Uh, you know, I was originally going to wear this watch as my, you know, my hiking, kind of more of a toolie watch. But when I got in person, I'm like, oh my god, this is, this almost could be a dress watch. And to be honest, I've actually worn this, you know, to more formal events because I just love, first off, I love these lugs. I just love how it swoops down. Anyone who owns the other, the Sarb line knows, like, how nice this case is. And look at that. It's just curves beautifully it's just so elegant to me it's like it really embodies me because I'm a you know I'm a desk nerd I work at a corporate job but I always yearn to go hiking and that's kind of what this watch is for me it's like one of those watches for that professional or you know person who's not really outside a lot but just really yearns to go outside it's probably a better angle And then I put this on a, is it De Beer? Yeah, De Beer, uh, crocodile uh, pattern, alligator pattern, uh, brown with a strap, which I thought went really well with the gold. This is the gold and the green, really. Really need a pop, so I wanted to put, a, went through a lot of straps, but I decided to go with this one finally, and it's stuck ever since. It's breaking in nicely, I mean, not super expensive. I didn't really want to go for a real alligator green. I didn't think it's for the cost, price of this watch to spend something you know, something half the price of the watch would have made sense, but I think it goes. I think they did a really good job giving you uh, the right strap color and kind of like the right feel with this watch when you first got it. But what they gave you this really cardboardy strap, so I'd actually swap it out. But I went for something similar to it, similar color scheme, similar kind of crocodile green leather band, and I think it just goes really well with this really well with the overall look of this i mean let's look at that just the polished case just looks so nice seriously when i had this on my wrist it, i felt like it was quadruple the price i paid for it this was finished so nice and just shined it just really 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 
had like a high quality feel to it, which is amazing for what price you pay for it. And that's kind of the reason why I like Seiko so much. You just really get a great value, really a great bargain for what you get at the end of the day. I mean, if you were to buy you know, something like a Swiss made watch, you know, made in Switzerland, I feel like these, like this similar watches and similar uh, features and in-house movements, you'd be spending most likely double than what I paid for all these really. Um, Seiko's doing a great job and I'm a huge fan of them. I've always been a fan and I think these guys will be, you know, kind of forever in my uh, collection. So hope that was useful for you guys. Just wanted to show my collection, my Seiko collection. Just know that I'm a huge fan of it. Each of them have for me, you know, personal, I have a personal connection with each. Um, I just love kind of these sports watches. I love just going outside. I love banging these around and, you know, they're still ticking. I mean, I just love these aesthetics too. I mean, especially the monster. The monster, there's really no watch like this out there at all. Same thing I feel like with this Alpinist. I mean, it's kind of, I guess maybe the Rolex Explorer in a sense, like that type of, um, I guess Rolex might be a little more tooly, but it's like, for me, it was like someone who's really not hiking or going cave, prolonging cave diving. Whoops, hit the sand. Um, is probably not wearing a Rolex Explorer, but you know, the desk diver or the, the desk uh, hiker or cave planner, mountain tripper is gonna wear it. And it's kind of like me, like I'm someone who likes to go hiking. So for me, this wash makes sense for me. And then same thing, I'm a desk diver. So I love these diver watches and I love the aesthetic of it. I love how easy they are to read. I love I can just look at this really quickly and know what time it is. Not too busy with, you know, any type of other dial instrumentation or any sub dials but day date time great so yeah guys uh that concludes my video let me know if you have any questions uh let me know if you guys are selling any seikos i might be interested and uh like i said i might be selling this watch so message me if you're interested in that as well anyway guys hope you enjoy this and i hope to see you next time i'll see you later